Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I've been gone for a while and I really apologize for that. I'm trying to get back into filming now that it's summer and I'm out of school. But anyways, I'm back today with another unboxing. This video will be posted kind of late for the simple fact if I'm going to wait for all the packages to arrive and then film in parts. But for today, I have two packages here with me and I'm going to be opening those on camera for you right now. <laughs> okay, so... Hi, welcome to this video. You probably already saw me uh, explain, but I'm back with another unboxing and I have two packages here with me, a box and an actual package, so let's get to opening those right now. So behind me I have the first package that I'll be opening and I'll get right to it. Okay, so I managed to get the box open. I did kind of have to cut the string off of it, unfortunately. But let's take the pets out and start looking at them. Okay, so I put the pets to the side for now, and we can start looking at the accessories first, and then I'll get into the pets. So for the first accessory, we have this little tree stump with a flower. It's so cute, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for in terms of videos. But I guarantee I will find a way to use it at some point. So we have... Oh my gosh. So we have uh, for our, another accessory for... Our, so we have here for our second accessory a little icy shopkin. It's so cute. And I don't know where my collection of Shopkins went. I think I just kind of lost them. But it's really cute, and I guarantee it'll make a good prop for videos if I just turn it around. For the third accessory, we have a little bone cookie, which is always helpful for videos. So <laughs> I'll just put this at the side now. So these accessories are very tiny, so I'm not even sure if you can see what they are, but they're two little pizza slices. These are so cute, and I love them, but I will probably end up losing them if I don't put them away. So for our final accessory out of that bag, we have this tiny little teensy LPS. It's so cute, and I love it. For the next accessory out of the other bag, we have this little plastic bunny. It's so cute. Again, not sure what I'll use this for. I might just put it on my desk as like a little display collectible thing, but it's so cute. I love it. Next, we have this little food item here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's cute. Up next, we have a little carrot, if it'll go in focus. But yeah, we have a little carrot. And last, we have a newer generation fox. I believe I had this before, I just don't know where it went because I kind of lost every new LPS that I own, so we're just going to put him over here. Now it's time to rush. Now it's time to get into the pets. This is the first one. I have to take her out of her bag. So for the first pet, we have this Basset Hound. She is adorable. I love her so much and I'm probably going to be using her a lot in photography. And she also came with this necklace, which is very pretty and will definitely help a lot. I do think that this LPS could probably double as either a guy or a girl, but it's very cute overall, and I love it. For the final LPS of this package, we have this Basset Hound again. And she is gorgeous. I love her so much. Her design is probably one of my favorite LPS designs ever created. And she came with this little bow, which is absolutely gorgeous, also. I love this. I'm definitely going to be using her and the LPS that she came with a lot, so be prepared to look out for those on my Amino and also on my Instagram. Links to those will be in my About Me section on my channel. So that was it for the first package. Let's get into the second one. Okay, so it's been a while and I finally managed to get the last package for today opened. So this is the first accessory. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, if anyone else who is smarter than me knows, please tell me. And we have like either a minecart or a bassinet. The next accessory is this little spider. It's so adorable. I love it. And it came in this star. That is adorable. And then we have this little milkshake type drink. Very cute also. Makes a great prop in videos and photography. We have this purple controller, which is also fairly helpful for videos. We have a pink controller, which is also helpful again. We have a little jar that has something in it. It looks like glitter. 
Here we have another very baby accessory. It's like a little popsicle. That is adorable. We have a cupcake with a strawberry on it. We have a can of monster energy. That's very cool. It's a little tall for LPS. Or at least this Dash Hound it's a little bit tall for. But it's still a great prop. And a donut. First we have this basket. It's very cute and it's so pretty. And this will make great for photography. Next we have this baby bunny. I think I've had this before or I had another one. But I don't know where it went. But this is adorable. Oh my god. This is adorable. I love it so much. Next we have this hat. So we have this adorable bunny bag. That is so cute. I love it so much. And again, with the last batch, we have flowers and little eggs. Okay, so there are actually more accessories, and I'm sure you could probably tell what kind of LPS I got based on this accessory. But it's a spider web. This is really cute. And next we have this little baby pumpkin, and I have three of these, so that's so cute. And then last up for the other accessories that were in with the pet itself, we have this little spider. Now for the LPS, it is this European spider. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much. This is actually technically my first spider. She has a little mark right there, but I can get that off pretty easily. Oh my gosh, she has a heart on her butt. That is the cutest thing. Here we have this basset hound. It's a, she is gorgeous again. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous basset hound. Hello, it is a new day, and this is the second part of the unboxing that I had previously filmed. So just a little forewarning, I have already opened all of the pets, and so I'm just going to be showing you what I got, um, because I have no impulse control, and also, uh, just because. <laughs> So, for the first pet, we have this bull. He is gorgeous. I love him so, so much. He is so pretty. Um, the only thing that's necessarily really wrong with him is a little bit of chipping in the nose here, which is fairly visible. But other than that, he's absolutely gorgeous, and there are some little scratch marks on him, but I can get that off with acetone. He also came with this camera. We have this gorgeous basset hound. She is so pretty. I'm so sorry for that little thing there. I had to screw with my camera a little bit. But she is so pretty. Her design is gorgeous. The colors go together so well. And the little freckles she has on her nose are so pretty cute. So this is the accessory that she came with. I didn't take it out of the thing that it came in yet because I'm lazy. So the next pet we have is this super cute bulldog. He is adorable. I love him so much. He was actually advertised as being um, another bulldog, but I looked at the picture and I was like, that's not that bulldog. So I'm still missing that bulldog, unfortunately, but I'll end up getting him eventually. Next is this spider. This spider actually came with the bulldog that I was talking about that that boy was advertised as. But it's such a cute spider, even though I am terrified of spiders in real life. Anyways, it is so cute. The little blush on its cheek is adorable. Moving on to the accessories, we have this spider web that has a magnet right there that you can stick the spider on. Up next, for the next accessory, we have this little ice cream sundae type looking thing. I believe I had one of these already, but I lost it. Next accessory is this boombox. Really cute, and I don't have one in this color yet. And for the last accessory that came with those pets, we have this little cute pie. That is so cute, and I don't have one in this color either yet. So For the next pet, we have this gorgeous basset hound. And I just re-watched Adorkable because nostalgia, and I love that series so much. And this is the, actually the mom in that series, so she is gorgeous. And I'm so lucky to have this one in my collection because I've been wanting it for so, so long. But here she is. That pet also came with some accessories, so there's this shopping bag. I already have a lot of these shopping bags, actually. I just don't think that I've had one with the sticker on it, so that's cute. 
Okay, so for the next pet, this is from a very kind seller, and I thank them, and I'm so thankful that I was able to buy from them, because they were so nice, and they gave me a $27 discount on these LPS. I bought three lots from them, and they were so kind, and they combined shipping on them, so I did not have to pay for shipping on all of them. And I love that seller so much, and they will be linked down below. But eBay usernames for all of the sellers will be in the description, and I will also put whether or not they are from a different country or only sell in the US. So for the first lot, I'm going to start off with the bulldog lot that I bought. He is absolutely gorgeous, and I feel like everyone has this LPS out of the old collectors. And I had just missed this part of LPS with the red magnets, so I was never able to get my hands on him. But I have him now, and he is so pretty, and I love him so much. Next up, we have this blonde bulldog with green eyes. He is so pretty. Unfortunately, some of his gradient kind of chipped off, but... uh He's still pretty nonetheless, and, you know, you can't really expect too much when it comes to gradient pets because they're almost always going to be chipped. Next up, we have this gray bulldog with teardrops. She is so pretty, or he, whichever one. Such a gorgeous LPS, and I love it so much. The design is so simple, but it works. Next up, we have this bulldog. This bulldog is so pretty, and I love it so much. The design is so unique, and I've never seen an LPS with these colored eyes before, and I love it so much. Up next, we have this blue bulldog. I'm actually not sure if the eye is supposed to have that coloring there, but I left it there just in case. But anyways, he is so pretty, and I'm very happy. happy? Oh my god. I'm very happy to have him in my collection. The next bulldog we have is this brown one with purple eyes. She is so pretty. I absolutely adore her again. The second to last bulldog of this lot is this one. She is gorgeous. I absolutely love the color of her eyes and how the colors work together. I definitely think that she'd be a great mom or just parental figure in general in an LPS series, especially for some of the main five pets because their colors go well so well together. And the last LPS of this lot is this bulldog. So this bulldog is actually kind of funny because I forgot that she was part of the second generation of pets and I was like, oh, so I'm getting one of the newer generation, which I didn't care about too much. But she's actually not from the newer generation. She's just a, she's just a Hasbro experiment to change up the bulldog mold. But she is so pretty and I'm so happy I have her too. So this, these lots actually came with some accessories with them too. So the first one is this little cereal dog kibble. Uh, box or bag. It's so cute and I remember seeing this in so many series and wishing I had one but I never did. But now I have two so that's nice. Next we have this water bottle thing. Really cute and I believe I have a purple or pink version of it and it's so cute. Up next we have another drink bottle. Really cute too and I don't think I've had ah, and I don't think I have a solid color version of this. I think I have a more transparent one. Up next, we have a stack of donuts, which is really cute. And finally, we have a tube of toothpaste, which is very useful for videos again. The next lot we'll be taking a look at is the German Shepherd lot. I was so excited for this LPS. I've wanted him for so, 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 so long. And he is gorgeous, and I absolutely adore him. Next up is this LPS German Shepherd. He can double as a Doberman, kind of, in my opinion, but... I already have him, but he's so cute, I don't mind having another. Up next is this gorgeous German Shepherd. She is so pretty, and I also already have her, but mine is in a lot worse condition than this, so I'm thankful I have one in, like, pristine condition. She is absolutely gorgeous, and I love her eyes. Up next is this iconic boy. I feel like everyone had this LPS, and I didn't, and I've wanted him for so long because of it, but I've been able to find him in this lot, so I'm so thankful. He is gorgeous. There is like a little bit of like glitter glue or something by his eye. I was going to be daring and try to take it off, but I don't want to ruin his paint. So I just like, so I was just like, you know what? Let's leave it there. He has like a little birthmark. He's cute. Next is this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. She is so pretty and I've wanted her for so long too. I love all the German Shepherds, but she is so pretty. She's so simple too. 
Up next is this German Shepherd, and she actually came with the little police badge. I don't think this is the German Shepherd who actually comes with a police badge in a set, but I'm not too sure about that, so... I could just be talking on my ass right now, but anyways, she's gorgeous, love her. Her design is so simple also, but her eyes are so pretty. And obviously the police badge is nice to have too. Next up is this iconic boy. Again, I feel like everyone had this LPS and I didn't and I wanted him also. But I now have this LPS and he is so pretty. Next up is this icy little shepherd and she is so pretty. She reminds me of Glaceon from Pokemon, but unfortunately she does have a couple of stains on her plastic right here by the eye, and it's very noticeable, unfortunately, but we'll live. She just has a... Oh, now that I'm looking at her on camera, it looks like someone just, like, hit her in the eye. That's so sad. Girl, what did you do? But anyways, she's so pretty, and I'm glad I have her, regardless of whether or not she's kind of messed up. Next up, we have this German Shepherd. Again, she has a little stain up here. I don't know why all of these German Shepherds are getting stained. And on the back, she did not want it. Let me show you this. She also has a couple more stains. Luckily, the stains on the back of the LPS don't really matter because you usually don't see them. And she's still pretty overall. Next, we have this German Shepherd. She has been on my wish list since third grade. That is crazy that I'm now actually holding her in my hand. She is so pretty, and I can see why I wanted her for so long. The second to last German Shepherd is this girl. She is so pretty. And I actually saw her in a huge lot, but unfortunately at the last second we kind of lost it. But I was able to find her in this lot, so that is really nice. Now we have this boy. He is gorgeous. I do already have him. But again, mine is in a little bit worse condition than this. So it's nice to have one that is, again, has been preserved. He looks like he's fresh out of the box, in all honesty. Now up for the accessories. The first one is this little thing of strawberry jam, which is so cute. Next we have this LPS sand bucket. Next we have this shovel, which I'm assuming goes with the sand bucket. Up next is a little plate of apples, which is so cute. And finally, for the German Shepherd lot, we have a little chest. Oh god, I just dropped it. This is so cute. For the final lot, we have this lot of St. Bernard's. This is such a cute St. Bernard. I love him. Again, he's so simple, but really pretty. Next up, we have this St. Bernard. This actually looks like a little Bernie's mountain dog, and I think that was the intention. He's so pretty, and I love him, so I'm definitely going to be using him a lot. Next up is this German Shepherd. He is gorgeous. I love LPS with brown eyes. Next up is this gorgeous boy. He is so pretty. His little mouth design is really unique, too. Next up is this St. Bernard. She is so cute. I love the flowers. Love her. Gorgeous. Next up is this St. Bernard, which is so gorgeous. The eyes are really unique, again, and I love LPS like this. We'll definitely be using him a lot. Next up is this this St. Bernard. Unfortunately, it looks like maybe like a dog or something has gotten to this one. It arrived like that, and it was likely in the pictures, so I'm not too shocked. But it is kind of unfortunate because I was really excited for this one, and he's kind of damaged. And finally, out of the LPS, we have this one. I do already have this one. I got it from a new inbox set that I got a while back, but really cute overall. So for the first accessory out of the St. Bernard lot, we have this snowboard. These little paw prints are actually where you put LPS with magnets on them. For the second accessory, we got a little snowmobile. Again, you can probably fit more than one pet in here if they're not super big. I think it'd be really cute to have a puppy and kitten in there for snow photography. But again, it's nowhere near winter where I'm from, so... So again, we had a little camera malfunction, so unfortunately some footage might have been lost, but that's besides the point. Next up, we have this little barrel for the St. Bernard's. Really cute. Again, we have another barrel. This one is two different colors this time. Really cute again. We have these little earmuffs. These ones are purple. Next up, we have another set of earmuffs. These ones are purple and blue. Again, really cute. And finally, we have another set of little earmuffs. Okay, so I'm actually really dumb and forgot to film this part of the unboxing, so I forgot 
three different LPS, so I'm going to show you those guys now. So first we have this accessory, which is like a little hurdle type thing, I don't really know. Really cute, nonetheless. We also have this hay bale, again, really cute. So the seller was nice enough to throw in a little extra LPS, and this is such a cute pig. I actually haven't seen this one at all, but really cute, and I'm excited to have her. And for the actual LPS that were meant to come in here. So I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit on the camera. But this is this gorgeous, gorgeous cow. She's so pretty. I love her so much. Very thankful to have her in my collection finally. I've wanted these cows for so long. And for the final LPS, and the actual final one this time, it's again another cow. But anyways, this is the actual end of this video. I completely forgot to film this, so great.